Assure Members is a content restriction plugin for WordPress. So essentially, if you have a website where people log into it, then Sure Members is for you. It will enable you to set who has access to what and when on your website from top to bottom. So who's going to see these different menu items on your website? Who can access the pages or posts or custom content or courses on your website? When can they access these parts of your website? You can even set visibility on individual parts of the pages on your site. Also, who can access digital downloads on your website? There's so much that you can do with Assure members. You can create membership style websites. You can create cohort style learning programs. You can add content upgrades to your blog posts. You can create a Patreon style website. The options are endless, but assure members the best content restriction plugin for WordPress. And in this video, we'll find out. Let's start with the pricing page because there's a time sensitive offer for lifetime licenses that is just for a few days. Here are some similar products and what they currently costs so that you can see the value in sure members and its pricing. As you can see, these products don't offer lifetime licenses and all of their pricing is very limited on how many websites you can install the plugin on. So just a single site license of member press alone is $359 each and every year. So if you were an agency and you're setting these up for your clients, you can see right here, if it was just 20 websites that you needed, it would cost you almost $3,200 each and every year for the next few days, you can get a special lifetime license for sure members. And there's three plans available. Each of these plans has a very convenient split pay option. So you can see for the pro plan, you can pay a one-time fee of $199 or split that up into four monthly payments of $49.99. Now, the difference between these three plans is quite simple. The agency plan is for unlimited sites. You can see that right here in the pricing table, and it also comes with lifetime support. These other two plans, this has the 20 sites, and it has three years of support, but lifetime updates. And the pro plan is good for one site, and it also comes with three years of support. Just having a lifetime license option for a plugin like this is kind of unheard of. And then to also have an unlimited site license as well for a lifetime, it's totally unheard of. And then when you stack on the split pay, the cost of it is broken up into four monthly payments. It's an amazing value. Full disclosure, before we get started, I don't know if you noticed my face was on the homepage of the website. I am one of the co-founders of this product. It started with my frustration with current options on the market, and I knew we could do better. We can make a product for the end user, not the developer, but for the end user, yet powerful enough for the developer. So yes, this is a product of mine. You can see here on the homepage, it's three steps to get this going on your site. It's very easy to work with. So the first step is to create an access group and everything pretty much starts with an access group. On this site, I have sure members already installed. So let's go ahead and create an access group so you can see how easy it is. You simply click right here where it says add new and then let's give this access group a name. You can create as many access groups as you want. For this one, I've named it Platinum Program. So step one is done. I have created an access group. So now step two is to choose what what content to sell access to or control, you could give it away. So you can see it says protected content. You can click on this drop down, and we have everything based upon rules. So everything's going to be managed in this central place. So if you want to protect your entire website, boom, done. Or let's say you just wanted to protect all of the blog posts on your website. Boom, it's done. Now, when you choose large groups of content like this, there's also going to be this option that appears to exclude parts of it. And this is completely optional. You can start entering the name of some of your blog posts, the ones that you want to exclude. And right here, it says, let's not protect this post. That's the actual name of the post, by the way. And there it is. I'm protecting all blog posts except this one right here. But what if you want to add 
more content to this, like all pages. Well, you can click here on the drop down and you can choose something else, all pages or whatever custom content you have on your website. You can protect specific pages and you can even put wild cards in the URL. This is a little on the techie side, but you have this ultimate flop power and flexibility with this, these access rules. So if I also want to do all pages, there it is. It's done. If I want to exclude a page, I can go right here and I can start typing in. Maybe I don't want to uh, protect my privacy policy. That would be a good idea. So everything's based off this central rules management, and it also follows you wherever you go on your website. Let me show you. I'll click into this post right here called Let's Protect This Post, and you saw that we set this in our rules. Now, there is the Sure Members logo right here in the top, and you can see that it's in the color purple. That purple color lets you know that this page or post is being protected. And if you want to see which access group it's being protected by, all you have to do is click on it. And I can see this is being protected by the Platinum program we just created, as well as this VIP members program that I created. Let me show you what this looks like when you're in a page or post that is not being protected. Here it is. Let's not protect this post. And you can see it's not lit up. It's grayed out to let you know that this is not being protected. But if you want to add it, it's very easy. You can also click on it. And then right here, you can click on all access groups. And let's see if I want to add it to the platinum program. I can click it right there. You can see I'm specifically excluding it. Let's remove that. Let's click on save access group. And check that out. It immediately changed colors and listed the platinum program. So I always know what is being protected without having to fiddle around with my website and find out where I access everything. It's going to be available wherever I am on my website. You can also control the menu item visibility. So this right here, if I wanted this blog only available to certain members, all I have to do is go to the menu, expand the option. I can choose show menu when user is in or is not in a specific access group. So I could go here and start typing out the name of that group we just created. And do I want it to show when someone's in the group or when someone is not in the group? I can just easily select it right here, save this menu. And now I have full control from top to bottom. You can also protect parts of pages. What do I mean? Here is a page designed with Elementor and say this section right here, I only want people in a certain access group to be able to see. Simply click on the section, click on advanced, and we have the same options right here. Show block when user is in or is not in, and then fill out the access group. And these same options are available if you're using the block editor. I can click on a container, and I see this option here that says restrict this block and it can be is in or is not in. It's that same type of choice. For those of you that use advanced modern page builders that have conditional visibility settings, there's also something in there for you. Most modern page builders use user roles and there's a million custom code snippets that use user roles. So there's a feature called user role sync. Let me show you how that one works. So there's a settings option here in the top right. And when you click on it, there's this option here that says create a user role. So you can see I've created this user role already called VIP members. You can create as many user roles as you want. And then what you do is you go into your access group. In this case, I'll choose this one here. And there's this option here that says user role sync and you would select a user role. So then what ends up happening is whenever someone is enrolled inside of this access group, they're going to be given this user role as well. And that's going to show up in your modern page builders, conditional visibility settings. Tremembers also is aware of content created in different course online course plugins, such as learn dash. So let me show you how that works as well as how to drip feed access to courses or any content. I'm just showing it in this example so you can use this to create kind of an evergreen cohort style program on your site you can see i've got 
three courses on this site, week one, week two, and this third one right here. So let's drip feed these two courses. Let me show you how easy this is. So in the drop down here, it's gonna know that LearnDash is on the site and it's got special things that appear for that. So it's gonna list out my LearnDash courses or LearnDash groups. I'll choose courses. And then right here, you can also start searching for the course. So it was week one and week two. Here it is, week one. And I also want to protect week two. Now I want to give week one immediately to someone that signs up, but I want to give week two at a delayed schedule. And that's what drip content is about. That's why I was saying you can control who has access to what and when. This is where the when comes into place. So I'm going to make it so that second course, the week two course is available seven days later. So I'm gonna type it in just like this and I'll choose the course. I want this available seven days later, but check this out. You can also choose the time of day. So it's a gonna be a lot more natural this way. So I want it to be at 8 a.m. in the morning so that all the students that are signing up, they're not overwhelmed with too much content all available to them at the same time. Now there's also the secure digital downloads that I was talking about. I can just click this right here. I can choose a file, click on choose, and now this file is secured and I can just copy the link and add it anywhere in a button or anywhere on my website. And they only the people enrolled in this access group will have access to it. So now that you've created an access group, how do you get the people into the access group? And there's multiple ways to do that that I'm gonna show you right now. The first way is going to be using SureCard. It's a free e-commerce platform for WordPress you can sell in some amazing ways and getting the two to work together couldn't be more simple. I already have SureCart installed. I'm gonna click on products and here's a list of the products I've created. Let's create a new product together. I'll click on add new. I'll give it the same name that I named the access group. I'll click on create. Now that it's created, let's first do the integration. So I'm gonna click here for add new integration in the drop down, it's going to list Shure members, and then I just choose the access group. Then I'll click on add integration. Now with Shure members, you need to add a price to your product. When you click on add a price, you have all these different options. It could be a one time, it could be a split payment, it could be a subscription. It can also be a subscription with a free trial right here. You can also allow people to pay what they want to pay. You have so many different options with SureCart and SureCart's free by the way. Another way to sell access is using WooCommerce. So I have WooCommerce on this website and if I go to products, you're gonna see I have a product here named membership. And so when I click on this, there's this option right here that says add access group. I have created one named cart flows membership. And so now what happens is when someone purchases this product, that buyer is going to automatically be added to the access group that I just inputted right here. Another way to add people is manually. And there's two ways to do this. So I can do it on a one by one basis. So let's click into this user. I'll scroll down and right here I can start entering the name of an access group. There it is. And I'll click on add access group and you can see they've been added here and I can revoke their access, remove them if I wanted. Now you can see in the user table, this user is now in both of these groups, but you can also bulk add or remove people from access groups. So I can check this box right here to select all my users where it says bulk actions. We'll choose this option here that says bulk edit. I'll click on apply. It lists my users right here. I can choose the access group so we can do the same one. And then here I can choose to give everyone access to this access group or remove everyone from this access group. So this will make it easy for you to bulk add people 
when you start using sure members on your website, it's going to make it a lot easier with this bulk user editing. So now that you set up an access group, you chose the content to protect, you figured out how you're going to get people in the access group, whether selling access and giving access away. You can also choose what happens when someone logs into your website. Sure members has a setting panel. It's here in the top, right? You can click on the icon and there's lots of different options here, but the one we're talking about is the redirection rules. So you can put the URL that someone will be redirected to when they log into your site. And then you can also choose the, where they go when they log out of your website. Now there's many things I didn't get a chance to show in this video that you can do with Shure members. There was like a really cool login pop-up. There was uh, messages you could show when someone doesn't have access to a group. That little part when you were in the editor and there was the logo that would light up or go away. If you didn't want that, you can easily toggle that off. You can choose which user roles have access to the back end of WordPress and which ones don't. So you can keep people on the front end. There's just a lot that you can do there. Also not released yet, but will be soon is some styling for the login page, the password reset page, the registration page, that's gonna be coming soon. There's also something coming really soon for WooCommerce to have discounts for members. So that can happen automatically to kind of create an Amazon Prime type of setup. Now there are other products on the market that you saw earlier. They cost quite a bit of money and take a lot more time and effort to set up. All of them are what I would consider legacy products. That means they were all built a long, long time ago, some as long as 10 years ago. Sure, they can do some of the same things, but it's kind of like if you're choosing a page builder and you're comparing Visual Composer to a modern page builder, the choice is pretty simple, which direction to go at that point. But Sure Members has a much broader aim and that's to be the one essential plugin for every website where you have people log into your site. That's why there's more of a broad and complete feature set because you can use this for more than just websites where you're selling access to protected content. So that's Sure Members in a nutshell. If you want to uh, take a look and learn more about Sure Members, you could visit wpcrafter.com slash Sure Members, and there'll also be a link in the video description down below. If you had any questions for me, I'm happy to answer them as well in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you next time.